suppose you don't like him as well. No, I do like him. Love him. Paul Simon, I think it's great. I didn't, I, that wasn't the best song on this album, because uh, uh, the, the album Graceland, right, was album of the year in 1987, and it was on this day, 1987, when he went back to number one in the album chart with Graceland. But that, that might be the title song, but that wasn't anywhere near the best song on the, on the album. What about uh, You Can Call Me Al? Isn't that a great song? Yeah, I'd, I'd... And uh, Me and Julia down in the schoolyard. Yeah. Isn't that a great song? Sam and Gafunka were good, you know. Some great hits as well. Yeah, but they fell out with each other so badly, Al. Because Paul Simon was incredibly talented. Genius songwriter and all that. And uh, for some unknown reason, he and our Garfunkel started to resent each other. Even to the extent, right, when Simon's writing all these great songs and all that. And, and I think it was generally accepted. Garfunkel had a great voice. That's why he sung Bridge Over Troubled Waters. Yeah. But on one occasion, apparently... Paul's also one of your favourite films, wasn't it? Watership Down, he what? sang Great Eyes. He did, yeah. Yeah, he did, yeah. yeah. Um, no, that's not one of my favourite <laughs> I've actually never seen it. You know, I've never seen it, because apparently it's about bunnies being horrible to each other and ripping each other apart and all this kind of stuff. It's not like a nice film. It's a horrible film about... No, it is it's about... Psycho- you, don't, you, you don't like horrible films? Well, I don't like films about psychopathic rabbits, and it was a it was a film about psych- psychopathic psychop- rabbits. It was. Rabbits. It was. They all went around murdering each other and Rubbish. torturing each other and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, um, so they're in the studio one day, and Paul Simon says, "Right, I've written this uh, new song and all that," and uh, he says, "Come on, let's try this out." And apparently, Art Garfunkel had a look at it and all that, and said, "I don't know if that's going to work for us." And Simon went mad and said, "Okay, Garfunkel, you don't even want to sing my songs now. What's wrong with you?" Um, and all that kind of stuff. People fall out creatively, Al, when they decide that their creativity is clashing and not merging together, you know? I have this problem with Mr. Graham sometimes, you know what I mean? And uh, it's, it's Who would you be? Would you be Art or would you be Paul in that partnership? Oh, well, I'd, I'd, I'd be Paul Simon because I'd be the creative genius, you know what I mean? <laughs> Simple, Sam. <laughs> uh, 12.35, uh, good game at Wembley, no goals yet. Here's the moose. Yeah, five gone, Spurs nil, Newcastle nil, and not much to say in terms of goal mouth chance. I was thinking that Mike might like the uh, song 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover, then I realised Mike's never had a lover, so he wouldn't know about 50 <laughs> Ways to Leave Your Lover. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I supposed to sit here and take that from a man who looks <laughs> like you, Moose? Yeah, absolutely. You looked are, in, yeah. Have you looked in the mirror lately? I have, yeah. Hey, have they got a mirror big enough for your well, bodily form to be uh, represented? Uh, the mirror also showed my wife and family. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, but uh, we, won't also, bring, also, we won't bring them into it. You, you, know that you know, your wife just happened to be unlucky. <laughs> you know, you know. You, by the way, you know you've made it as a songwriter when modern groups like One Direction want to sing your songs. I think they, they sang Cecilia, mm. uh, which also is timely. Uh, listen, I wanted to, uh, Mike, you, mm. sometimes you come up with some weird ideas. So what about yes. this? I think if you were here today, you'd say this game should be cancelled. Why? And I'll give you the reason why. Because obviously the temperature is rising, yeah. which means that all the snow and ice that's on the Wembley Arch is now falling down onto the pitch right. and might hit the players. So does that not constitute a bit of a... I've seen a couple of big safety. chunks come yeah. off the roof, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. Well, if that's a health and safety issue, then it should be examined, and that's down to the Wembley authorities. And that's a good observation, Moose. So um, what you've actually said has a lot of common sense about it, which is a very rare occasion <laughs> in the life of talk sport for the Moose to be talking anything like common well, sense. Let me tell, let me tell so you, I I salute you. I salute Andre, you. Mar- Andre Mariner is aware of it, I'm told, and is going to keep an eye on it. I mean, listen, if a player gets hit by I think, then... Um, no, but it's I, a very just, good point. If you, yeah. if you get hit by a, a block of uh, ice coming from 150 feet up, it could be very unpleasant. I, t- I agree with you. Good observation. So, anyway, five minutes gone. 50 ways to leave your lover, Mike. Have, yeah. a, have a listen to that song. Uh, Mike yeah, Ashley yeah. in the crowd. Uh, yeah, there you exactly, go. Yeah. Sitting there, Billy no mates. Well, he's got his one mate with him, and that's it. He's buying uh, up half of the high street, you know. He's buying up all sorts. He's buying, the later one's a sofa company, and uh, he's got interest in... Patissia Valerie. Demons, Patissia Maybe, Valerie. perhaps. He's, he's looking at that, yeah. HMV. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 12.37, right from Wembley Stadium with the Moose to Goodison at 1 o'clock. Adrian Dunham goes round the grounds. Adrian's there. Morning, Adrian. And my favourite Simon and Garfunkel is I Am A Rock. You only have to change one letter for Mike Parry in that Ooh, song. Terrible. That's all you need. The yeah. sun is shining terrible. beautifully here. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's very kind of you, Adrian. And, and Adrian, you're a Goodison, right? So let me tell you, let me tell you, go, go, along, go along to the newly constructed boardroom, the glass-fronted boardroom, just knock on the door, just say, hi, guys, Mike Parry sent me, and guess what will happen? Go on. You'll get thrown out of the ground, of course. <laughs> But you know I'm that that I'm might be that, I've been let in. that might be your fate today if you start uh, <laughs> insulting me like you just have. Okay. 
Well, uh, just, uh, I'm, I'm just resonating with the uh, populace, Mike. That's no, all no right. I don't think so. You'll find I'm very popular at Goodison amongst a section of the crowd. But well, it's a very small section. <laughs> I'm not even joking. George the Steward just said to me, as long as Parry's not with you, everything's all right. <laughs>